Hey Charlie, this is Henry here, um, responding to your request for a quick video on some tips you can use to get more exposure online. I saw you posted your link in the comments, so I did want to respond. So I'm on your website for crazy aids by delta 8 cbdonlinecom Some things I like right away, like how you have the black and green color scheme. It's good you have a headline at the top there. So there's some nice images too. And it's good you have different product categories. You got Delta 8 TXC, grinders, hookahs, water pipes, miscellaneous smokes essentials, shirts, as well as other things. You're giving the user experience that they're at like a virtual store. Uh, one thing I'd recommend though, it's good you have all these pictures here. In the center right here, as soon as somebody lands on the on the website, you want to have like a shot now button that way it'll be clear you give them a clear call to action so that you want to make sure hey explore our product shop now you just want to make it clear just think to yourself like what first action would be user to take sure it's like you want them to shop around your products ultimately buy as well too so i'm going to show you what happens when you search for buy delta 8 thccom um, on google we're in the organic section usually sometimes if you're in a searching in a local area there is a map portion that pops up in the top three people get the most traffic but yeah we're in the organic section this is a place where you want to own space so berman berman's health shop is the first result to appear we're going to take a look into their site so it's delta 8 thc and then we go down and google has some policies like limiting the amount limiting like cbd and and um advertising so like Usually, though, when somebody's advertising for a keyword, it's like paying to be on page one. In a sense, they're renting that space. You want to make sure you're owning space. And that, that you use that, what a business uses that with their certain keywords where they're not on page one for. Let's take a look here. This is tells you some Google search stats. Page one accounts for 91.5% of the traffic. As soon as you leave page one and hit page two, you see the traffic has a significant drop off. Like if a business is not found on page one, it's going to be much harder for them to be found on Google. And a lot of times people use Google to search for products, but not all traffic on page one is created equal because you see the top three spots get the most traffic. There's a big difference between getting that first spot and that last spot as well too. See that first spot gets 30% more traffic than that last spot. And another thing too, like if you get the top three organic spots going with the top three map list, you're gonna have a lot of traffic coming your way. The more website visitors you will get will in turn lead to more uh, orders place and then with that extra revenue from have those extra orders you can use that to grow the business even further some businesses by having positions on page one they get tens of thousands of dollars if not more maybe the millions sometimes depending on the business in monthly revenue so here's their page delta 8 thc or herman's health shop you see right here they have a little description about what they do they have all their different products so it's good to have a nice looking website but Google, when Google ranks a site, they look for content. We have as much authoritative content as possible. So you want to make sure, like, you want to make you have as much information as possible about CBD and THC. Some ways you can do that, you can make blog articles giving your thoughts and opinions. Even for each product page, you want to have as much description as possible for each product. So we're going to go back right here. We'll take a look at, let's see here, Delta 8 THC. So it's good here you have like a little bit of description you have a description about what it is go here right here to this product so you want to have like the ingredients like yeah it's good you have a little bit of description you can tell a story you get reviews that's another thing that helps as well too just want to make sure you have as much information as possible you want to be like a wikipedia of cbd and thc for nationwide and while having lots of great authoritative content is very essential, it's just one piece of the puzzle. Another thing needed to rank is backlinks. Backlinks when you put your website link onto another website. Not all backlinks create equal, some are more powerful than others. Getting a website to the top of Google is similar to being a kid at a school trying to rise up in popularity. Yeah, you could yeah, the kid could have great looks, great personality, but what's the point if they're not getting those votes of confidence from the from their peers in the popular kids? So let's say, for example, the high, HighTimes.com wrote an article about you and, the great, and how good your products are. And they had your website link on there and they gave you a follow. Google will see that and be like, oh, HighTimes.com likes uh, Delta 8 THC. We're going to move them up the rankings. I'll find more and more of those popular sites to link up to. If you put your website link onto a new site called Joe's 
CBD resources.com and they gave you a follow Google will see them and be like oh who's Joe CBD resources and I like this guy we're gonna keep the ranking the way it is their opinion doesn't need much it doesn't carry weight we're gonna go into a tool now called Ahrefs so before we get into Berman's I want to show some stat some of your stats so Ahrefs is actually a tool where you can actually see how a website appears in the search engines how it's ranking what the traffic looks like so hold on one second so here's for you so it's good you mentioned like crazy aids delta 8 and cbd online hemp house so right now you're not appearing for any organic keywords you got 16 backlinks right now it's like they're saying you have no monthly there's zero monthly traffic and traffic value when there's a dollar amount of traffic value means you're producing revenue we'll take a look at some of your backlinks first too So, okay, it's good. Cannabis 24 7 news. That's good. So, you're, with backlinks, you want to make sure you're linked up to as many relevant sites as possible to what you do. So, that anything related to cannabis, TX, like cannabis, CBD, health supplements, food would be good places. So, look, it's good. It looks like you're on these relevant sites. Now, let's here take a look for Berman's Health Shop. You see, like, they have the keywords like Delta 8 THC for sales, shop online, Berman's Health Shop. So, they appear for 113 organic keywords. They have 29 backlinks. So you actually see your competitors are linking to and then try to link up to the same sites. But with backlinks, it's all about the quality. It's not always about who has the most. You want to make sure you have a lot of quality backlinks. And they got 856 visitors a month, and their traffic's valued at $23. But let's take a look here at the keywords they rank for. So we got Delta 8. Delta 8 search 21,000 times a month. The keyword density is 26. The higher the number, the keyword density means it's harder to rank for. So they get a lot less of traffic from there. Like where is Delta 8 available? You can that would be a good blog article actually. There's a high search volume for this. Keyword density is on the lower side. Buy Delta 8. A lot of TXC for sale. Even with your products too, that those are the those will get you your tra organic traffic if you optimize the product pages. So that's why it's saying like be really descriptive. If longer tail keywords usually convert better. They're not going to have as much search value, but they'll definitely have higher conversion value. Like if you have the milligrams of the THC or CBD, whatever it is, so people actually search for those things. Like it would be like 300 milligrams CBD. So let's take a look at some of the other links too. Let's see GMX. Doesn't look like. Let's see, health livestock info could possibly get a link from there as well. Your local chamber of commerce could be a good place as well, too, for local. And to rank in the map portion of Google, one thing you'll need are citations. A citation is the number of times your business name, phone number, and address are listed across the web. You want to make sure you have between 50 to 100 plus more citations than your competition. But sometimes having way more citations than your competition won't always leapfrog you in the rankings. What will help is if you build up your website with lots of authoritative content. And getting those strong valuable backlinks that are relevant so i hope you enjoyed this video and i look forward to hearing your feedback thank you